Sea of Thieves is feeling very stagnant right now. It's quiet. It doesn't really seem like anything is going on recently. The only real thing of note is the recent adventure and some patches towards Season 8's content. On the other hand, Adventure 12 is currently still in the coming soon phase. As of today, Season 9 is still 5 weeks away, with no real buzz going around. So, what is going on with Sea of Thieves at the moment? Let's start with the obvious one and I'll get the bad news out of the way. Adventure 12 and Season 9 could be further away than we think. Here's the thing, I personally think Season 9 is still on track for the 16th of March based on the in-game calendar. On the other hand, we only found out about the second Season 7 delay two weeks before it was due to release. And also keep in mind, we heard about the first delay a lot sooner than that. I remain quietly confident that Season 9's on track, but don't rule it out that it could be delayed still. A reason why this could be nothing is that we haven't had any leaks or slip-ups when it comes to the retail build having a few <coughs> extra features. If you remember, the nameplates were appearing in retail way before Season 7 came out. And then with Season 8, we had the flags appear way before Season 8 released. Not to mention, for both of these seasons, people would outright break their insider NDA in the comments on YouTube, Reddit and Twitter. And I've yet to see that since Season 8 released. What do we know about Season 9 for sure? Well, we know they'll be separating the music sound from the sound you get when hitting a ship. This was confirmed by Mike Chapman on Twitter. We also know that Season 9 is meant to have social options for crews. Just be cautious as this roadmap is from January 2022. It's over a year old and has almost certainly changed by now. Or not, it could really go either way. Some have speculated guilds are on the way to fill that social option gap on the roadmap, yet we have no idea what these guilds even mean. I personally reckon they'll be more like Halo 5 Spartan companies, where groups will complete commendations together and get rewarded for completing these commendations. Again, this is purely speculation and all we know is that they're coming. Adventure 12 is a really strange situation. Up until the end of 2022, we pretty much had a new adventure each month. But, starting with Secret Wilds, we had to wait 6 weeks in between them. Now, looking at Adventure 12, A Dark Deception, the date has been listed as coming soon for a while, and it should be out in a week's time if we're going by last year's cycles. Right now, we would be expecting a trailer or some tease, maybe we'll be getting that on Community Day's livestream, which is the 11th of February. The last adventure ended with a tease at an ancient temple in the Sea of the Damned. Naturally, this suggests that Adventure 12 will contain this thread. And if we go by the orb teasers from last year, the plot was also teased in Teaser 2 featuring Bell. What if the plot thread is not going to be resolved in Adventures, but a new voyage? Adventure 12 is called A Dark Deception, and looks to align with the Athena imposter found in Teaser 4 from the orb teasers. This also happens after the guilds one. So, for argument's sake, the content goes like this. A new voyage and guilds come in Season 9, then Adventure 12 is about the Athena imposter. Whatever happens, I do think Adventure 12 is coming in Season 9, but it doesn't have to be the Temple Voyage. Let's look at the facts. If Adventure 12 is the Temple, would Rare go all the way to create a new monster, as some have speculated, and a new environment for something that might be removed after a few weeks? It seems unlikely. Nevertheless, we have seen big features removed when adventures disappear, like the Hunter's Cry area or Soul Flame Rowboats. That doesn't lend any credence to the plot thread being completed in a voyage though. On the other hand, Legend of the Veil fit into the plot of adventures but isn't one. So we've already seen that Rare will mix big plot points in with adventures in the middle of an arc too. And Legend of the Veil was also teased in the first set of orb teasers in 2021. This is all speculation and doesn't really confirm what's going on with it. You have to consider also if season 7, 8 and 9 weren't delayed, we'd be looking at season 10 coming out next month. Season 9 would have released in December 2022, and the adventures would be roughly the same, give or take two weeks. If Season 9 needs to happen before Adventure 12, as Mike Chapman did say adventures and seasonal content will be more intertwined, that would be a great explanation as to why this weird limbo has happened. Of course, there is the extremely exciting prospect. Season 9 has a huge surprise. And you all know where I'm going with this. Each time a season rolls around, we have the whispers of A Pirate's Life Part 2. Is it coming in Season 9? Who knows. In the run-up to A Pirate's Life, no one other than the devs knew. Not insiders, not partners. I'm sure James Thomas didn't know on account of his, well, leaker past. Yeah, and I think the, the biggest thing we've announced that we're coming soon as well is fire. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be something for your rack mob. Is that announced? Yeah. I was, about, I was literally about to say. Yeah. I... Fire? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Sorry James, I just had to bring it up. This time around though, as everyone kinda expects it, I think Rare would drop the odd tease here and there. Recently, we had two nods in the orb teasers. 
but even sooner, there was a very little tease on the Community Day announcement video. I know Ghost Admiral made a video on this, but whoever was the first to realise, I'm not really sure. Essentially, you can see Jack's compass in the corner here. Granted, Rare could even have just misused an asset, we always see unreleased cosmetics after all, some of which are even in the game. Yeah, I'm still salty about the Burning Blade. But something as serious as Jack Sparrow's compass, out of all the compass assets that they could have been used, surely that's got to have some credence. Do I think it's coming in Season 9? It's anyone's guess. There is no predicting rare at this point. Although, I can't lie and say this period doesn't remind me of the quiet before Season 3 did. So, take that how you will. Ah, and one last thing to mention, Sea of Thieves turns 5 years old next month, so that's something to consider. Not that we've really had a blowout since Anniversary, and that launched right at the end of April, so really, anniversaries have been pretty flat anyway. But 5 years, come on, half a decade. In Season 3, we all thought we'd get some Sirens and Silver Blade focused tall tales back then, with Flame Art being the main antagonist. Look just how wrong we were. But reading this all back in, my final thoughts are pretty underwhelming. We'll get the last Emporium and patch of the season in a week's time, then Season 9 will come out, whatever's in that, maybe Guilds, then Adventure 12 will release two weeks later on the 30th of March. And you know what? Fuck it. I reckon that'll be the Temple arc, but it'll be replayable. It's not the spiciest of predictions, but we'll play it safe this time. Anything else would be a huge welcome surprise. What do you think is going on with this content weirdness? Let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to leave a like. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.